Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you there. And today we are going to do a makeup tutorial on this makeup look. This is the perfect red carpet lip makeup. <laughs> Sorry because English is not my mother tongue. So I really wanted to film a red lip tutorial just because spring is coming, Valentine's Day is coming guys. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by the way. Okay, so I have already moisturized and done my brows off camera and then we keep going with our foundation. So as you can see, my face, my skin is far from being perfect. I don't have a beauty guru's perfect skin. I have like really visible imperfections like those dark scars just right here that come from pimples and they really take time to resolve and by the way if you have any solution to solve them please comment down below i think that i really need help on that so the first step for my foundation is actually to correct those scars and so to conceal i'm going to use nyx conceal correct contour palette it's very affordable but I think it works. I'm going to mix this yellow with this skin tone color just because according to the chromatic circle the best color that will complement the purple hues is yellow. So you need a little bit of yellow to cancel the scar. So here the goal is not to hide the uh, scar but really to color correct it so when you come to the foundation it doesn't pop through the foundation right so i do some spot conceal like this and then to blend it i can go with my finger okay so now Maybe you can see that I spot concealed. You can see the yellow tint on my forehead. But right now, uh, I'm going to actually hide those scars. And for this, I'm going to use a concealer that is close to my skin tone. And that's the Naked Skin from Urban Decay in the shade Medium Dark. Really, really good concealer, by the way. And so once again, I go back on the scars. So now it's going to look natural. Boom, vanished. And then if it does not look perfect, that's okay because then I'm going to apply the foundation and everything will look even. Then I just take this concealer brush and I just buff it into the skin just to blend the edges, okay? Once we're good, we move on to foundation and my favorite foundation ever is a NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Syracuse. I've tried several foundations so far, the Huda Beauty one, Fenty Beauty, and I always go back to this one. Uh, this is my Ride or Die foundation with the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. So I take one pump, if it wants. <laughs> Then I will use this foundation brush and I just apply like a nice amount everywhere on my face. Then we, you just stipple into the skin for a natural finish and then you finish with round motions to the outside of your face. And you don't forget your neck, so you have an even result. So what I like about this foundation is the luminosity that it has into it. You can see this glow here. It's really light, it's subtle, but it's real. And it really looks like a glow from within. And that's why I like this foundation, because it's not matte, because sometimes matte foundations tend to age your skin. The fact that it restores the natural glow, it just sounds so more 
young and healthier now let's get into concealing so i'm going to conceal my dark circles and all over my face to restore the the architecture of my face so for this i go back to the naked skin i like this color because it has some peachy tones so it's perfect to correct the blueness of my under eye circles and i have uh, a little bit of green here green veins and I don't put a lot just because then I go back with a lighter concealer just to brighten my under eye and so I take this uh, concealer brush and I blend everything it already makes a difference don't know if you see it and I add a little bit around the nose to conceal my fine lines then as I said I'm going to use the Tarte Tape Concealer in the shade medium tan sand it's a lighter shade which is perfect to lighten the under eye it's a pretty thick concealer and but I really like it because it has a very nice coverage. I'm shaping my nose, highlighting my cupid bow, chin, and forehead. Then you just blend everything. And any excess, you just bring it on your lid so it can be also used as primer for your eyeshadow. Wow. Do you see how it brightens everything? And then I go with my tiny finger to blend the concealer on the bridge of my nose. Okay, so now we're fine. I am well brightened. Then we need to highlight and contour our face. And for this, I like to use Hyper Real Glow Palette in the gold shade from MAC Cosmetics. And it looks like this. You have a mirror inside and you have three shades. Any skin tone that has golden or yellow undertones can use this palette. So I like to mix like this champagne shade with the gold. I am going to swipe it just on the apple of my cheeks just right here to catch the light Ooh. and that looks good I love that light you see I want to avoid the harsh lines between the concealer the foundation and the highlighter so I just go back with my concealer brush where there was some product left and I blend the edges Yes, that sounds really good, really, really good. Same highlighter, I'm going to put it on the bridge of the nose. I'm going to use the same highlighter as an eyeshadow. Uh, so on my brow bone, and blend it well. And you can see how it lifts your eye can you see the difference there is a huge difference here and then i use this pencil brush and i apply it just on the inner corner and it's going to widen your eye i like to blend with a round brush like this one okay just to soften the color i mean the goal here is not to color your lid, but really to just to bring light. One crucial step that I forgot to do is actually to set my face. So I'm taking this powder. This is the Invisimat Blooding Powder from Fenty Beauty. To me, this is so far the best setting powder ever. It looks like that. It's white inside. 
It kind of looks scary, uh, especially if you have dark skin. But what I like about it is that it's able to blur the pores and the lines. It gives like this soft focus effect to your skin, so it's Instagram ready. So I like to apply it with the sponge that comes with it. So you take the product and you just press it in. You press it in, girl. And it mattifies my forehead perfectly. Then to avoid the skin to look gray because the powder is so white, I like to go back with another powder that is close to my skin tone. And for this, I used the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation, which also has a soft focus technology inside. I use it in the shade Tan 160. This is broken, so I can't really show it, but it has also a sponge in it and it has a lot of products as you can see it's coated with powder so I'm going to use it yes and so it brings back warmth and color to my face I don't know if you can see but it looks way more golden my forehead I do not set my under eye just because then if it becomes matte, like it takes off all the light and it kind of dig my under eye circles and creates them. So I don't like to set my under eye. Now it's time to contour. And I like to use the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks Matte Skin Stick to twist up down and the shade Mocha. I just love that product. I think it's mainly because of the shade. It looks so natural. It's like my natural contour and it blends so well. So I just take some here and there. I contour my jaw, my chin, my nose. And I just love because I can use the the edges of the product to create sharp lines to contour my nose and also I'm going to use it as my eyeshadow actually so I take this round brush I take the product here and I go like that I blend it in the socket of my lid And this to tell you that you don't necessarily need eyeshadow to create your eye look. You can use your contouring and highlighting products. It's perfect. So then let's blend. I forgot a little bit under my lips to add a little bit of shadow and dimension to them and my forehead then I go with a thinner brush uh, whatever you have and I blend my nose precisely I take the same product still. I want to add shadow just on the lower lash line and the outer corner. It kind of adds depth, you see here. So this is what we look like so far. I like to take a brown gel eyeliner to define my lash line a little bit. This is the Their Real Push-Up Liner by Benefit. Okay, I like the applicator that looks sharp and angled, which is perfect to go close to the lash line. I don't do some crazy eyeliner here. Something just really natural and that's why I like brown. Then you need a little bit of mascara. And I am still using my favorite roller lash by Benefit. 
and what I like about it is how it separates and elongates your lashes they look way more defined and you actually see them and I like to enhance the tail of my lashes like the end to give this cat eye effect can you see how it opens the eye just at the end I love it so this is mainly my look my foundation is basically done this is a very simple eye makeup look really really simple uh, just a little bit of definition on your eyes and just to perfect your skin because then the star of the show is going to be your lipstick i'm about to use the shade star woman by nars uh, it's a matte liquid lipstick and first red i mean it's time for red more than ever spring is coming valentine's day is coming in particular i love it in a matte liquid formula just because it looks so even and it creates like that perfect canva on your lips so star woman is the star of the show <laughs> And by the way, if you want a complete video on how to apply your matte liquid lipstick, you can watch my previous video on that topic. Okay, so one of the very last tabs on that look for me is to add white pencil in the waterline just to open the eye even more it's gonna awaken your look and i like to use from burberry it's the effortless cool eyeliner it looks like that so the same lipstick that i use for my lips i'm going to apply as a blush so you don't need to have an actual blush just what you have as a lipstick you can use it so i take with my finger a tiny bit because it's so pigmented tap the excess just right here because you don't want all that intensity on your cheeks and then i smile and blend it's really light you see really subtle you don't want to overdo it because your lips already carry all the color and so yeah it brings back a little bit of life to your face and if you want to make sure that your makeup stays all day long don't forget to set it with setting spray and i think that this one is so famous among the beauty gurus it's the all nighter setting spray by urban decay to me it really helps my makeup to stay matte and put together all day so so that look is complete you have this gorgeous red lip and very simple makeup for the rest of your face if you like this video don't forget to thumb it up and to subscribe to my channel hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upload i hope to see you soon in my next video bye